Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting Hornady Superformance 180 grain SST out of a 30 out 6. And the test rifle today is my Tika T3X Super Light Stainless, chambered in 30 out 6, of course, with a 22.4 inch barrel and a Leopold VX3 HD on top. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. I'm down here after shooting those 180 grain uh, Superformance SSTs out of the 30 out six, and they 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 live up to their name. They really do deliver a lot of energy upon impact. There's the front block; it flipped off the table completely. Coming on back, here's the second block. And what's funny is I captured the first two bullets perfectly right there, but the third one must have veered off just a little bit. But it's sitting right here on the table, so that's neat. And then what's even more interesting, I went ahead and tipped the block up and the sun is kind of that way, so I hope you can see this. But here's the track that that third bullet went down. There's where it came out and it was setting right outside the block, right there. So I don't think it's a stretch to actually utilize that as a penetration depth. And the bullet looks completely fine, so we're gonna go ahead and use it in our analysis. And I've gone ahead and lined the blocks back up, put the tape measure up so we can measure penetration. First, we'll look at the two that are right here. They are almost exactly in the same spot. So coming on up, it looks like they went right at, we're just gonna call it 20 inches, give or take an eighth. And then right here, I put this bullet on the outside of the block where the wound channel exited on the bottom side of the block. So that bullet went right at about 24 inches. Let's go ahead and look at the velocities for that Hornady Superformance 180 grain SST load out of the 30-06. Our high was 27.43, our low was 26.93, and our average was 27.26. And here we're looking at those Hornady Superformance 180 grain SSTs out of the 30-06. First we'll talk about weight retention. Our overall average weight retention was 122 grains, and respectively we saw 132, 122, and 111 grains for an overall weight retention of 68%. So that's a little bit lower than some other ammunitions we've been seeing, but it has to be remembered these are the super shock tip bullets and they are meant to a point to sort of fragment and break up a little bit and provide extremely rapid expansion. Now let's talk about that expanded diameter. Our overall average expanded diameter was 0.664 inches and respectively we saw 0 0.682, 0 0.679, and 0 0.632 inches of expansion. And overall that works out to 2.2x expansion, which actually isn't that high considering that these bullets are meant to expand very rapidly and widely and just dump a lot of energy. I would have thought to have seen a little bit higher expansion than this. Now we'll talk about velocity. Our high velocity was 2,743 feet per second. Our low was 2,693 feet per second for an average of 2,726 feet per second versus a factory build velocity of 2,820 feet per second. So we did come in a little bit slow, 94 feet per second slow. Nothing unusual there. It's typical to not come anywhere close to the factory stated velocity, but here we were at least within 100 feet per second. And then penetration wise, and there's a little bit of a caveat to this I'll talk about. We saw a 21 and 3 tenths inch average penetration and respectively we saw 20 inches, 20 inches, and 24 inches of penetration. And the caveat is that that one bullet that did hit that 24 inch mark, I actually recovered that bullet from outside the ballistics gel block, but it did seem to penetrate all that way and then it just exited the block. So it is what it is. We did hit that 20 inch mark that I do like to see. Final thoughts on that Hornady Superformance 180 grain SST load out of the 30-06. We saw a little bit low weight retention. It was 
Not completely surprising considering it's the super shock tip. I would expect it to have a little bit lower weight retention and a little bit more expansion, but what we didn't get is that little bit more expansion. We only got 2.2x expansion, which is still good, but I would have thought it would have been a little bit more. And then for penetration, we hit the 20 inch benchmark and a little bit beyond, so it's fine there. Where this ammo kind of shines and where you might want to use it is in longer range hunting situations. The bullet is more streamlined, it is going faster, so you are going to get less drop at those longer ranges. If that's your situation, this stuff might be something to look into. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.